Hi everyone, and welcome to my Oprah Winfrey makeup look. Okay, so what's super, super important, what I think when I look at Oprah's look is how flawless her skin is. So I started off with some foundation highlighting. So taking the lighter foundation and just patting it really beautifully under the eyes, a little bit down the nose, on the chin, down the jawline and the forehead. Really, really, really important to start off this sort of beautifully contoured makeup look with the lighter foundation. This is how I do it. This is how I would do it if I was doing Oprah's makeup. And I decided to use this bigger brush just to save time really and just to really bounce and pat the foundation on. Now for the foundation contouring. Okay, so we've already got the lighter, the foundation highlighting, now for foundation contouring. So I'm taking this really lovely dark mixing medium from NYX and I'm contouring my face, so literally right under the cheekbones, under the jawline, on the forehead, you know, so I'm creating that ideal shape which I think will look really, really flattering to my face shape and to create this gorgeous Oprah look. Oh, lighting change. Um, I will get used to all of this eventually, I promise you. Okay, now for those key areas now. So now I'm going back in with a concealer and a, a really lovely creamy highlighting stick. I'm putting a bit more product in those key areas, a little bit down the nose, using a smaller brush now, a little bit more under the eyes, a little bit under the brows, a little bit on the chin. These are all those key little areas, anywhere that's a bit dark, if you've got a bit tired or puffy eyes, um, this is really, really important. It makes all the difference, must have. You can't skip this part for an Oprah look. Now you've got all that makeup on, the foundation contour, foundation highlighting, you've got to soften the edges, okay? We don't want to look like a beautiful robot. It's about enhancing, looking really beautiful. So I'm taking back to my brush and just patting and fluffing it around just to really soften all the edges and make everything look smooth and even. Now I've started to sort of do a bit of a semi-set powder situation so I like to go in with a mineral powder now and I've chosen a warm one to really warm up the cheek area just to semi set the skin not completely just semi once I've done the eyes and the lips then I can go back in and do a final set with a finishing powder eyebrows okay so I never see Oprah with a really structured brow very very rarely if anything she has her brows her brows lightened or she uses a lighter soft brown so her lovely dark smoky eye stands out this to me is one of those Sam Fine style techniques that never lets you down eyes okay so I think to create this real gorgeous sort of smoky almost black to grey soft smoky eye which Oprah is a die-hard fan of I would start off with a feline coal pencil this one's from MAC it's really creamy smudges really well perfect base draw your line and then you're going to smudge out the edges now you're going to bring the edges out width ways this time not so round okay because that will give you that real beautiful old problem for your eye this look is so effective for anyone who has that kind of smaller kind of um bottom don't be afraid of the bottom if you just do it on the top it won't look right you have to put it, the shadow on the top and a little at the bottom and then go ahead with I'm using the same bronzer I used on my cheeks just to soften the edges no hard lines ever always soft edges buff buff blend blend use your bronzer use it underneath the eye around the eye it's a great product Get your lashes on, girl. 
it's so important to have a lash it makes so much so much difference especially if you're rocking a smoky eye and you've got not so big eyes get some lashes don't be afraid of them get the glue on make sure you wait a good 90 seconds before you apply them and take your time and get those lashes on make sure you feel comfortable press them from the end so you're just really pushing them on that you're delighted and you're happy and enjoy the magic of lashes And now for the Oprah Winfrey nose contour. This is the part of her classic makeup look that I think makes so much difference. So I've used a lovely warm deep brown eyeshadow and I'm just softly, softly, delicately blending that down the side of the bridge of the nose and then just connecting it into the inner corner of the eye. And then taking a lighter concealer and a little bit of powder over the main middle of the bridge. A little bit on the top of the nose, above the brow and under the eye again just to keep them super super bright. Now you can set with your finishing powder. This is the Pro Longwear one that my friend Sabrina gave to me. Thanks Sabrina. And it sets so beautifully. And then I like to contour with a powder contour over that finishing powder. Maybe that's wrong. It just works for me. It just works really great. And I used a burgundy deep plummy type of tone which is typical Oprah. And it just works. Don't forget underneath the chin as well. If you're like me, you've got a bit of a double chin, enjoy putting a bit of that underneath and just avoid those hard lines. Make sure they're buffed out, smooth, no hard lines. Now for the lips. Love lips. Okay, so to me, this is a classic nude for that African-American woman. You know, it's that kind of African-American professional woman lip very Oprah Winfrey it's been slain since the 90s still works start off with a beautiful warm lip liner use quite a thick layer go in with a nice bronzy color be careful you don't go too gold if your skin's very dark like mine if you need to go in and add a little bit more lip liner do that and then softly finish it with a beautiful gloss with a slight sparkle or a clear or even one with a peachy or a pinky undertone they'll look really beautiful as well it is the perfect perfect match to that sexy black smoky eye that oprah does that's kind of almost winged out slightly um there you go enjoy et voila bronze beautiful lips beautiful deep brown skin gorgeous nose contour gorgeous smoky eye boom thank you oprah love it yeah, it's really cheesy and show you two of my favorite books my oprah books someone bought me this for my birthday and i always appreciate them getting this for me beautiful beautiful gift it basically um celebrates oprah's 25 years of her show such a good read oh and then this little bad boy i bought for myself my mom my aunts and a few friends what I know for sure. And it's just lovely little things to read every day. Thank you, Oprah Winfrey. I love them both. You're my hero. <laughs> if you're thinking, if there's someone you think you'd like me to, I guess show you what I would do if I was doing their makeup. Um, give me a shout, leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. I'm really trying to grow my YouTube channel. If you know anyone you think would like this video, send them the link. I don't care whichever way they get to have a look. And tune in next week for something else. Take care, everyone. Bye.